So, Dieu appelle tout le monde à la repentance. God called everybody to repentance. God called everybody to produce the fruit of repentance and the fruit of the Spirit. Dieu appelle tout le monde à la repentance. Dieu appelle tout le monde à produire le fruit digne de la repentance. Et Dieu appelle aussi tout le monde au service. He called all of us to repentance. He called also all of us to service. So if the pastor is not here, if mom is not here, if dad is not here, if brother X is not here, if sister Y is not here, <coughs> make sure that you can take the place. Hallelujah. So we are just preparing you just the way us we used to get prepared. And this day reminds me about uh, the day when uh, my pastor Mark it's not Mike, but Mark. M-A-C. Uh, uh, one day he was sick. He didn't feel good. And he has, he, he has to preach. But that day he didn't feel like I'm going to make it. And there were also somebody else in the church who want to preach, but we didn't have a translator or interpreter that day. So what happened, what happened was, when pastor say no, today I'm not feeling good, I can't preach, can someone else, else help us to preach because I'm not feeling good? So people start laughing in the, in the room. Why they were laughing? Because they were thinking that all this time a pastor cannot get sick, a pastor cannot die. Or a pastor cannot be thirsty, or a pastor cannot be hungry. Que un pasteur ne peut pas tomber malade, un pasteur ne peut pas mourir, un pasteur ne peut pas avoir faim, un pasteur ne peut pas avoir soif. So all of us we have been called to repentance, not only to repentance but also to the service. We have been called to grow up. Nous devons tous croître. Nous devons tous devenir matures pour faire l'œuvre de Dieu. All of us, we have to be, we have been called to repentance. We have been called also to the service. So don't stay at one level. You have to grow up spiritually. Don't grow up only physically. Don't let only your age keep changing. But you in the things of God, you never grow up. What you know in the, from the Bible, you know only John 3, 16. No, you have to keep memorizing other verses as well. Hallelujah. And you have to be, uh, you have to reach a certain level whereby a preacher is preaching. When he, t he, 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 he touch something, he, the, you allow the Holy Spirit to tell you that the pastor is going like this and like that. Or the teacher is going to touch this subject. Is going to touch this subject. When the preacher is preaching, you two try to cooperate with the Holy Spirit. Try to be connected to the anointing. Essay d'être connecté au Saint-Esprit, à l'onction du Saint-Esprit, à l'onction qui est en train d'animer le serviteur ou bien la servante de Dieu. Puisque un jour, ton tour viendra où tu dois prêcher, où tu dois évangéliser, où tu dois visiter les membres de l'église. Alléluia. Nous, nous avons visité les membres de l'église, on évangélisait sans pour autant qu'on nous envoie. They didn't send us to visit church members or to call church members to, to follow up on them. We didn't wait for the pastor to tell us. Even though we were teenagers, we say, no, we are youth for Jesus Christ. Nous sommes jeunes pour Christ. Oui, on appelait ça jeunesse pour Christ. Youth for Christ. But you, you are youth, you are lazy. You don't know when is the youth meeting. You don't know who is going to preach or who is going to guide or lead the youth meeting or the youth group. 
if there is no leader, if there is no anybody who is taking care of the youth group or the youth meeting, say, here I am, God. I'm willing to be at your service. Grab for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen, Messi. You're like, mm, I don't know how it's going to go. No. God is going to equip you. Just the way the nature has equipped your mouth to hit and to speak. The nature of God is going to equip your, your same mouth to speak and to talk to other youth. Amen? Yeah. The Bible says, don't, don't let anybody despise your youth. Que personne ne méprise ta jeunesse. This is what Paul was telling Timothy. So, if you despise yourself, other people are going to despise you. But first, start saying, thinking to yourself that I can do it. If Jeremiah did it, I can do it. If Esther in the Bible did it, I can do it. You see, even when you, you go in the, this book, they show you the picture of John. They show you the picture of Peter. They always present you old people. No, when they, they, they were called, they were not old. They were adolescents. They were teenagers. So one day, your pastor is not going to be around. You have to take over. So how do you know that God is preparing you? Each day you are coming to church, God is preparing you. Each day, each moment you are reading the Bible, God is preparing you. Each day, each moment you are listening to a preaching, to a sermon, the Holy Spirit is preparing you. You are listening to radio, Grace FM, you are praying, Holy Spirit is preparing you. So my pastor used to tell me that the day I'm going to die, who are you going to ask? That pastor, which grace am I going to preach today? Le, mon pasteur me disait, le jour où je vais mourir, le jour où je ne serai pas là, qui est-ce que tu vas demander? Because every day I have to go to him. Pastor Mark, hey, Pastor Mark, pa Pastor Mark, qu'est-ce que je vais lire aujourd'hui? Pastor Mike, what am I going to read today? He said, no, no, no. The Holy Spirit is going to train you. Don't wait only me to, to be pushing you. N'attends pas ce que moi je sois derrière toi pour te pousser. Hey, me, il faut nettoyer les, les, les bancs. Oh, il faut être à l'église. Il, il faut aller en visite. Il faut aller dans l'évangélisation. Il faut faire ceci, il faut faire cela. No. Le Saint-Esprit doit t'apprendre. Et il est mort à 33 ans, comme Jésus. Il died at 33 years old, just as Jesus Christ. So he was so young. So when he was talking, and he left only a little girl. And now that girl is like uh, 33 years. Only one girl. So when we go to his house, he presents us food. I say, no, pastor, I'm okay, I can't eat. I say, no, you cannot say, I can't eat to the house of your pastor. So as your pastor, it's my responsibility to make you also ready. What I've been taught, I have to tell you to. What I've been taught, I have to teach you. What I've been taught, I have to tell you as well. So that when my day is going to come, I'm going to say, Father God, I don't have anything else to tell these people. The Holy Spirit is going to take charge. And you have to stand up. This is what God did with Moses. This is what God did with Joshua. C'est ce que Dieu avait fait avec Moïse. C'est ce que Dieu avait fait avec Josué. Josué n'a jamais fait de miracles. But yet God called him to... Bring the children of Israel in Cana. Josué n'a jamais performé les miracles. 
Josué n'a jamais monté à la montagne comme euh, Moïse qui parlait jour et nuit. Josué n'a jamais fait les, les miracles, changer le bâton en serpent, parler à Pharaon. Mais c'est lui qui était appelé à faire entrer les enfants d'Israël au Canaan. You can be a lady tonight, you can be a mom, you can be a mother tonight. Don't say just, oh, this is pastor responsibility. Tu peux être une femme, tu peux être une fille, une mère, tu peux être un père, tu peux être un fils, une fille, un enfant. Tu te dis, oh, tout ça, ça concerne le pasteur. Non, tu te trompes. Ta présence déjà dans l'église prouve à suffisance que tu as l'appel de Dieu. Ta présence devant la face de l'éternel prouve que tu as une mission à accomplir, non seulement dans l'église, mais partout au monde dans le corps du Christ. So you are concerned. You have to take your, your spiritual engagement seriously. So if I give you books, like you have to carry those books to bring to church and you have to write, one day you're going to look for those books and you cannot find them anymore. When my pastor died, I go back to the book. I started reading, then I was crying. Oh God, I was not paying attention when my pastor was telling me all this. As I was taking granted all his advices about one day is not going to be there anymore. So try to exercise yourself. Preach in your bathroom. You are in your bathroom, you are preaching. You are in your bedroom, you are preaching. You are here and there, you are preaching. You are at break in your school. You try to preach to yourself and to other people. Exerce-toi à prêcher, à évangéliser, à toi-même, puis à d'autres personnes. Hallelujah. This is the mission God has called all of us. And remember, last time I told you that all of us, we are the Noah of this generation. Je vous ai dit la fois passée que nous tous, nous sommes les Noé de cette génération. When you are reading about Noah, see yourself in Noah of today. So take your Bible and go to Genesis uh, Uh, six again and read the six as quickly as possible. L'Éternel se répandit d'avoir fait l'homme sur la terre et il fut affligé en son cœur. English. Okay. So God repented. So that he can do a new thing. Dieu s'était repenti pour qu'il puisse faire quelque chose de nouveau. Il, 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 il s'était repenti d'avoir créé l'homme, puis il a pris la résolution d'exterminer tous les hommes. Mais après un certain moment, il s'est dit non, je vais d'abord chercher, et si j'extermine tout le monde, qui va m'adorer qui va me louer, qui va me servir. Il est allé trouver Noé. C'est pourquoi la Bible déclare Noah found grace before God. Noah trouva grâce devant Dieu. L'Éternel se repentit d'avoir fait l'homme. So all these remaining days, you have to be there repenting. These days for 2020, For, because you are preparing 2025. Keep repenting for yourself, for the church, for the family, for activities, and for whatever you didn't do for God. Keep repenting. Alors, Dieu s'était repenti d'avoir fait ceci ou cela. Alors, toi aussi, tu vas te repentir. De, moi aussi, je dois me repentir d'avoir fait ceci ou cela et d'en avoir pas fait ce qui est volonté de Dieu. So you have to repent for what you did against God's will. And you have to check what is the will of God that you're going to 
take in 2025. Tu vas te repentir de ce que tu as fait qui n'a pas été dans la volonté de Dieu et tu vas chercher ce qui est volonté de Dieu qui va te permettre de commencer ou d'entamer l'année 2025. Alléluia. So, read verse 8. Mais Noé trouva grâce aux yeux de l'Éternel. Mais Noé trouva grâce aux yeux de l'Éternel. Fast. Yes. But Noah found grace in the house, in the eyes of God. But the Lord was pleased with Noah. Noah, mais Noé bénéficiait de la bienveillance du Seigneur. So, in other version de ses favors, in other version de ses grace. So, let's stick on the word grace. Because grace is the unmerited favor. La grâce, c'est une faveur imméritée. C'est-à-dire, si tu viens à l'église, si je viens à l'église, je donne ma vie à Jésus-Christ, tu donnes ta vie à Jésus-Christ, c'est une grâce que tu n'as pas, c'est une grâce, une faveur que tu n'as pas méritée. It's by grace that you receive Jesus Christ. It's by grace that you believe in God. Without that grace, you can, you could be like anybody else. The people who didn't find the grace in front of God, they were mocking at Noah and they were doing whatever they want to do. They were living without divine conscience. Ceux qui n'avaient pas trouvé la grâce divine, ils marchaient sans la conscience divine. Ils marchaient n'importe comment, ils se comportaient comme n'importe comment, ils s'en foutaient. Et j'avais dit la fois passée aussi que comme ils n'avaient pas l'esprit de Dieu, ils étaient animés par l'esprit animal, alors ils se comportaient comme des animaux et aussi comme autant de Sodome et Gomorrhe. So because they didn't have the spirit of God, they have to behave as animals in the jungle. If someone doesn't have the spirit of God, they have the animal animation that is conducting them to do this and that. For example, a dog or a pork. Un chien ou un cochon, ils ont leur manière de vivre dans la saleté. Alors, si quelqu'un n'a pas l'Esprit de Dieu, il va se comporter comme un cochon, comme un chien. Mais quelqu'un qui a l'Esprit de Dieu, il a trouvé grâce devant Dieu. Someone who has the Spirit of God, he has found grace as Noah. Mais Noé trouva grâce aux yeux de l'Éternel. Et nous avions dit aussi que si tu trouves la grâce, cela n'est pas suffisant. Tu ne dois pas t'arrêter que, non, j'ai trouvé grâce, je dois croiser les bras. Non, tu dois suivre maintenant les instructions divines, les instructions de Dieu. So, after finding grace, you don't fold your hand. You have to work now so hard for God's glory. So, if you find grace, listen now. Oh, God. Would you like to go to Luke 1? Verse 30. Luke 1, verse 30. Quickly. Luc chapitre 1, verset 30. Loud. Mm -hmm. Come closer. Come closer to me. Again. Read it again. L'ange lui dit, Ne crains point, Marie, car tu as trouvé grâce devant Dieu. 
Don't be afraid, Mary, because you have found grace before the face of God. Ne crains pas, ne te ferai pas, Marie, puisque tu as trouvé grâce devant Dieu. Alléluia. So, the same way Noah found grace before God in the Old Testament. We see that in the New Testament, a lady, a virgin, found also grace in the face of the Almighty God. De la même manière que dans l'Ancien Testament, Noah a, Noé a trouvé grâce devant Dieu, nous trouvons que cette histoire se répéta maintenant dans le Nouveau Testament, une vierge. Une fille qui n'a pas encore connu les hommes, elle a trouvé grâce devant Dieu. Alléluia. Find grace among many girls. Finding grace among many men. This is the man. Noah, he found grace before God among many men. And here we have a woman, a lady, a girl finding grace among many girls, among many women, among many ladies. I wish you too to find grace and favor in front of God among many of your generation. Pray for Jesus. Now for Jesus, if you believe that this is the word of God. Hallelujah. So you have to cry before God. If you don't find the grace, you have to cry. God, I need your favor. I need your grace. Let my name be called favor. Let my name be called grace. You are not, even though you are not selfish, say, God, I want you. I want to be called favor. Même si ton nom n'est pas senti, je dis, Seigneur, j'ai besoin d'être appelé grâce. The favor of God. Luke, chapter 1, verse 30. L'ange lui dit, ne crains point, Marie, car tu as trouvé grâce devant Dieu. So, people who have found grace, they don't fear. They don't give up. They don't despise themselves. Les gens qui trouvent grâce devant Dieu, ils ne sont pas des péreux. Tu dois affronter tout ce qui est prêt à t'arriver. Joseph is going to deny you, but keep going. People are going to insult you. People are going to despise you. People are going to call you harlot. People are going to call you prostitute. People are going to insult you. People are going to insult your dad. People are going to insult your mom. Keep going. Because you have found favor, grace before God. Hallelujah. Joseph a voulu la diffamer. Mais elle a dit non, 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 non. J'ai Elle m'a trahi. So, if you find grace before God, your fiancé, your friends, your family members, and other people, they're going to feel that you betrayed them. Because you, you don't want to work like them, but you want to live according to the will of God. Your teacher cannot understand you. Your coach cannot understand you because you have grace. Because faith, grace, gonna put you aside. Grace gonna select you. Grace gonna elect you. Grace gonna vote you. Only that one. C'est ça la grâce. La grâce va te distinguer des autres. La grâce va, va faire parler les autres. Les autres vont dire, il sait quoi qui? Lui là, il sait quoi qui? Il se croit qui? Il est qu'on a dit dans ces moyens ni nan. Il est à zoukan sa ke. Il est à nan. La grâce va pousser les gens à parler contre toi. Même les confidents, même les intimes, il arrivera à un certain moment, le diable va les toucher de parler contre toi, de te résister. 
grace. The grace gonna give you the ability to endure, to have endurance, to persevere, to have perseverance, to be patient. They speak here and there, but you are patient. You are waiting on God. Tu deviens patient, tu deviens persévérant, tu deviens endurant. So, during the day, you are so strong. You are speaking about God. You have confidence. But at night, you go on your knee as Jesus, crying before God. Father God, look at this situation. How is it going to happen? This is Mary. I never knew Mary. What is my dad gonna? My dad gonna slap me. Oh my God! My fiance gonna rebuke me. But God said, "No, you have found the grace." Grace, it's like pregnancy of the Holy Spirit of God. People can't understand you. And how can you explain it? It's a grace. You cannot explain it. You are pregnant. And you, you are ashamed of yourself. But God said, no, this is my pregnancy. Tu te sens honteux, honteuse. Mais le Saint-Esprit te dit, non, ça c'est, 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 c'est ma grossesse. So someone who has grace of God, he work as a pregnant woman. Celui qui a la grâce de Dieu, il porte la grossesse et il doit prendre soin de cette grossesse du Saint-Esprit. Puisque tu as une mission à accomplir sur la terre. Dieu a trouvé que toi, tu as une mission. Go to 30, 30, 31. Et voici, tu deviendras enceinte. Et tu enfanteras un fils et tu lui donneras le nom de Jésus. Go. Uh, merci, you are dozy. Stand up. Read again. Merci, read it. One, verse 31, yes. Amen. So, when you have the grace of God, you should be pregnant by the Holy Spirit and you should carry Jesus. C'est ça la grâce. La grâce, c'est être engrossé par le Saint-Esprit puis produire Jésus-Christ dans la vie de tous les jours. So, having grace, it means you have been impregnated by the Holy Spirit, then you have to bear Jesus all the days of your life. So, because this pregnancy is from the Holy Spirit, you cannot run away from it. You cannot run away from Jesus. Si tu as été engrossé par le Saint-Esprit, je parle spirituellement. If, so I'm speaking spiritually. If the Holy Spirit impregnated you, you have to carry Jesus all the days of your life. You are in school, Jesus Christ. Savior. Jesus Christ loves you. You are wherever you are going. Talk about Jesus. Talk about Jesus. Because the pregnancy is going to give you a character, a reaction. And when you are pregnant, you know what to eat, what to not eat. You, you have to try this. Mm. You know, I don't like this. Mm. I don't this, I don't like, I need this, I need that. So, when you are pregnant from the Holy Spirit, <laughs> people cannot understand you. Les gens ne vont pas te comprendre puisque le Saint-Esprit t'a engrossé. Il te donne un caractère. Alors, à Noé, à Noé, there were no rain since the beginning of the creation of the world. But yet, the, 
The word of God impregnated Noah. So Noah has to believe in the word that impregnated him, even though he didn't know anything about rain. He has to believe. So the word of God is going to impregnate you so that you may have faith. Le Saint-Esprit va t'agrosser pour que tu aies la foi. Alors, quand les gens te regardent, les gens ne vont pas te comprendre. Alléluia. Oh, God. Territou, il sera grand et sera appelé fils du Très-Haut. Et le Seigneur Dieu lui donnera le trône de David. 33. Il régnera sur la maison de Jacob éternellement et son règne n'aura point de fin. 32 and 33. Read. Mrs. Stand up to read 33. Mm -hmm. Il sera grand et sera appelé fils du Très-Haut et le Seigneur Dieu lui donnera le trône de David, son père. Now, 33. Luke 1, 33. He will reign over. So, if you receive to be impregnated by the Holy Spirit, you cannot see the reign of God in your life. Tu ne peux pas voir Tu ne peux pas expérimenter le règne de Dieu si tu refuses d'être engrossé par la parole de Dieu. Si tu ne refuses, tu refuses d'être engrossé par le Saint-Esprit. Cette génération a besoin du Saint-Esprit. To be a child of God in this generation, you need the Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit. Because without the Holy Spirit, the spirit of power, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of intelligence, we do nothing. This generation is so complicated. And whenever you have the Holy Spirit in you, you're going to behave more than, you're going to speak and you're going to behave more than Donald Trump. Hallelujah. I've seen some people start running this country because God has put someone on the throne. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. I've seen the people who have this kind of life because if there is no somebody in the throne who can glorify Jesus, people can do whatever, people can speak whatever, then you, you're going to have your Jesus and you squeeze him. You, 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 you start trembling. But when Donald Trump starts exalting Jesus Christ and he become the president so those who were lady marry a lady a man marry a man they start running this country they are going to number they say hey, we don't know we don't belong here anymore because we have a Noah of this generation <laughs> hallelujah so you have to be proud of your faith and someone who as a faith like yours. That's why I want you to become the mayor of Colorado, the governor of Colorado. Why not the president of the United States of America? Hallelujah. You have to become someone when you speak, people start their animals start running away. There is this, this lady, she married another lady. Her name is Ellen. She has some eyes. I don't know what she put in her eyes. She's like, hey, no, 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 no. She, she was supporting Obama. <laughs> she used to support Obama. But national, no, this man is not the kind of Obama. All the people you call by mistake famous people or stars, they're not famous. They're just dust. So they, they're not stars. They are dust. So they have to run away. They go to Europe because the word of God has been elevated by one person. 
So if you have faith in Jesus, you can be here in Colorado. You speak a word and someone is in Washington. You have to know the, the power of the word. You have to know the power of Jesus Christ. Because maybe you take for granted your, your privilege and what you have. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, go to Genesis 6 from 14, then we go down. Fais-toi une arche de bois de gopher. Au verset, au verset 8, nous avons trouvé que euh, Noé a trouvé grâce devant Dieu. Mais au verset 14, Dieu commence à lui dire que non, tu dois travailler, tu dois construire une arche. Quelque chose qui n'a jamais existé, mais toi tu dois le faire. Something that has never existed, but you, you have to do it. Read 14. Mm -hmm. I want someone to read loud. This is the church. Ah, stop there. Make what? Make yourself. Am I, am I, am I the one going to make it? No. I call you, but it is, even though I called you, I'm not the one going to make it. You are going to make it. That's the grace. La grâce, c'est quoi? Dieu t'appelle. Mais il te dit que, oui, tu as trouvé grâce, n'est-ce pas? Oui, j'ai trouvé grâce. Je ne suis pas comme les autres. Oui, tu n'es pas comme les autres, mais toi, tu vas construire. You think that, no, I'm going to call those people that, me, I find the grace. I'm your chief. You come and build the, the ark. No, you, Noah, build the ark. You find, you find the grace. Yeah, okay. Do it. You marry, you have found the grace before God. Yes. Okay. Carry the pregnancy. Oh, I didn't know. I, I, I thought that. I see, I thought that. I just found the grace. It is, it's sufficient for me. Yeah, grace is sufficient. But, okay, carry the pregnancy. Oh, no. Yes, carry it. So, you see, being a Christian is not what you think or what most of people think. People think that being a Christian is everything. To take everything at easy. Like, take it easy. No. Christian, we don't say take it easy. Christian, we confront it. Les chrétiens ne disent pas que, non, ne t'en fais pas, ne t'en fais pas, ne t'en fais pas. No. Nous confrontons. Nous, nous assumons notre responsabilité. Non, c'est non. Take it easy. God knows everything. God forbid them. No, no. You build it. Build it yourself. Oh my God, I didn't know that to find the grace before God, so you have to do also the service. Yeah, when you find the grace, you do the service. Continue. Uh, okay. Can you stop there? Miss uh, Esther, could, would you let continue? Stop there. Make yourself an act of gaffer. Mm -hmm. Make rooms. What? I thought that I'm going to do just this. It's finished. No. Keep going. Keep moving. Je pensais que comme c'est la grâce, je vais faire seulement ceci et c'est fini. Now God said, you're going to do the room. So look at me and you first. Who among us has already built even a small house? Now, this is not a small house. This is a, the ark where and you're going to put animals inside. It's not a small house where you try and say, I'm tired, my leg. GPS and Belo Kunaria. munganga. Who? Hmm? Oh, 
Okay. Ule ni muntu wana kutumikisha sasa mungu kama fia kutumikisha. Ngara vile mungu wanaanza kutumikisha moizi. Moizi kuhanacha bibi, anacha batoto, anacha baba muko, anacha mama muko. Anenda karant jure karant nui kumulima. Anarudzia, anashirika na pasula matablet. Kisha mungu wanamurusha mungu. Rudia o itur ni wota biyenga na mkono. Tu vas faire avec tes propres mains. Des fois, nous prenons les choses de Dieu à la légère, puisque nous ne lisons pas avec le Saint-Esprit. But if you read with the Holy Spirit, you cannot take everything as easy as it looks like. So now you're going to start making room. So that when these animals are here, they are, they want to, they are fighting, they cannot make this, this uh, the between wall to collapse. So you have to make sure that you are strong. You work as an engineer. And as a Christian, you have to learn. So here, you know, I started learning constructions. He didn't know about the ark. So you and I, we can copy from, uh, we, and we can ask Google. <laughs> no, I cannot ask anybody. He started learning everything by himself because God told him that you build yourself an ark. To construct to a man an ark. Continue. Ah, stop there first. Voici comment tu le feras. L'arche aura 300 coudées de longueur. Ok, Esther, I'm going to go, uh, or you go in, um, in French, hey, in English, you stop at the comma, then I read here for good interpretation and uh, understanding for your English. Ok, go on verse uh, seven, uh, 15. Ah, stop there first. Voici comment tu la feras. He told you that you build yourself. He want to start with the hey, 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 stop there, stop there. This is the way you're gonna do it. In other way, he started <laughs> in the wrong way. And God said, no, 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 no. Not like that. Because a lot of people here, if your mom or your dad say, hey, go and cook shima, go and cook ola ola, you go there and start. Hey, 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 no, this is not the way. Who is supposed to tell me really? Tu ne m'as pas dit tout, tout ce temps. This is what happened to Noah. I already started. God said, no, 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 no. This is the way you're going to do it. Uh huh. Yeah, stop there. L'arche aura 300 coudées de longueur. So, face yourself, you don't know the cubits. But God said, no, it has to be how many, let me stand up. How many cubits? 300 cubits. So, you have to know first what is a cubit. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, so you see, donc, euh, l'arche aura 300 coudées, 300 coudées de longueur. So, you have to use the measurements. Hallelujah. You have to be smart in mathematics or in calculation. Don't, you cannot say, oh God, I'm sorry, I have headache. I can't continue here. Oh, la tête me fait mal. No, no, no. Continue. That's what you have to write down. So you see, as a children of God, you listen to God, you, lead, you, you, you co cooperate with the Holy Spirit, you use your spirit, you use also your brain. You use everything God has given you. Because God has given you your hand, you have to use your hand as well. God has given you eyes, you have to use your eyes. God has given ears, you have to use everything God has given you. So he starts calculating. Il a commencé à calculer. 
l'arche aura 300 coudées de longueur. So, longueur. The length, right? Then, next. Okay, stop there. Um, 50 coudées, 50 coudées de largeur. So, you have to know la longueur, c'est quoi? La largeur, c'est quoi? So, you have to know what is the length and the other one is the weight. So, you have to know that the length is always longer than the weight. So, tu dois déjà connaître que la longueur a toujours été plus longue que la largeur. Then, et 30 coudées de hauteur. 30 coudées. Now, you want like this, like this, then I. So, you have to know all this. As a child of God, you have to use your brain. You have to use your intellectual capacity. Because if you don't do that, you're going to make a mistake. And God is not going to be pleased with you. Uh-huh. Uh, 16. Tu feras à l'arche une fenêtre que tu réduiras à une coudée en haut. So, when God is talking, you have to write down. So, here first, when I'm preaching, you, you don't take even the verse. You see how negligent we are. Tu vois combien négligent nous sommes. Alors, quand Dieu te fait grâce, tu dois prendre tes responsabilités au sérieux. Tu te dis, à qui suis-je d'abord pour trouver grâce devant Dieu? Alléluia. So, if you find the grace, first of all, you have to be like, who am I to find this grace before God? Who am I? And because of that grace, God is going to give you instructions. You have to do this, you have to do that. So, you have to write down. A lot of people, we die poor and we become miserable. Why? Because we didn't listen to God. God is a God who gives people opportunities. Dieu est un Dieu qui a donné à tout un chacun les opportunités. But the problem is, instead of listening to God and to be focused to what he's saying, as we are looking to what God is doing in, in other people's life, What God is saying about other people's life. Bobe kona endelea. Mimi shendele. Oh mungu. Oh na bariki bazungu. She una tuacha. Mwere. Na ina kwalita se mungu. Bariki bazungu. Mwana chape. Se piske vous. Nous sommes dans la distraction. If you are not paying attention to what God is telling you. You cannot be happy. Tu ne peux pas être heureux. Tu ne peux pas être heureuse si tu ne mets pas en pratique ce que Dieu te dit. Il est en train de dire in Deuteronomy, in the book of Deuteronomy, saying that these are the blessings that's gonna follow the people who are gonna listen unto me. Voici les bénédictions qui accompagneront ceux qui vont écouter mes instructions. Et après, euh, après la bénédiction, il a montré aussi les bénédictions. Alléluia. Can you go to Deuteronomy 28, verse 1? Si tu obéis à la voix de l'Éternel, ton Dieu, en observant et en mettant en pratique tous ces commandements que je te prescris aujourd'hui, l'Éternel, ton Dieu, te donnera de la supériorité sur toutes les nations de la terre. Voici les bénédictions 
qui se répandront sur toi et qui seront ton partage. Lorsque tu obéiras à la voix de l'Éternel, ton Dieu, tu seras béni dans la ville et tu seras béni dans les champs. Le fruit de tes entrailles, le fruit de ton sol, le fruit de tes troupeaux, les portées de ton gros et de ton menu bétail, toutes ces choses seront bénies. Ta corbeille et ta huche seront bénies. Tu seras béni à ton arrivée et tu seras béni à ton départ. L'Éternel te donnera la victoire sur tes ennemis qui s'élèveront contre toi. Ils sortiront contre toi par un seul chemin et ils s'enfuiront devant toi par sept chemins. L'Éternel ordonnera à la bénédiction d'être avec toi dans tes greniers et dans toutes tes entreprises. Il te bénira dans le pays que l'Éternel, ton Dieu, te donnera. Tu seras pour l'Éternel un peuple saint, comme il te l'a juré lorsque tu observeras les commandements de l'Éternel, ton Dieu, et que tu marcheras dans ses voies. Tous les peuples verront que tu es appelé du nom de l'Éternel et ils te craindront. L'Éternel te comblera de bien en multipliant le fruit de tes entrailles et le fruit de tes troupeaux et le fruit de ton sol dans le pays que l'Éternel a juré à te père de te donner. L'Éternel t'ouvrira ton l'Éternel t'ouvrira son bon trésor, le ciel pour envoyer à ton pays la pluie en son temps et pour bénir tout le travail de tes mains. Tu prêteras à beaucoup de nations et tu n'emprunteras point. L'Éternel fera de toi la tête et non la queue. Tu seras toujours en haut et tu ne seras jamais en bas. Lorsque tu obéiras au commandement de l'Éternel, ton Dieu, que je te prescris aujourd'hui, lorsque tu observeras et les mettras en pratique, et que tu ne te détourneras ni à droite ni à gauche de tous les commandements que je te donne aujourd'hui pour aller après d'autres dieux, et pour les servir. Amen. Wow. This is so good. Would you like to, to, to give me the, the, the book of English? Hallelujah. Oh, you want to read? I want you to read with a, a vibrant voice. And stop there and start reading. Just where you are. Lord, and they will fear you. The Lord will join you upon 
Yeah, stop there first. So, when you are calling by the name of God, people will fear you. Ah, continue. Okay, stop there. So, uh, stop there first. Everybody wants to be dominant. It's an instinct. Il y a un instinct qui fait que mon doigt est et qu'on a peine d'avoir mon gros et ma mouche qui est Que quand on a ses matins, on peut être à face. Why didn't you pull, pull it? Oh, me, 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 me. Non. On a peine d'avoir ses mais ma chique est comme ça à boca. À sa montre, on a une para que tu me quiches que à dire attaché à mon Au lieu d'être attaché à Dieu. Lui, il veut faire les choses de sa manière. Non, tu ne seras pas supérieur selon la parole de Dieu. Ici, on est en train de dire que si tu veux que les gens puissent te craindre, les gens puissent te considérer comme un être supérieur, invoque ton Dieu. Montoule ana omba kasa davant ana mongo pak. Ata on ana frank. La présence de Dieu dans ta vie est plus que la finance. Alléluia. Tu peux manquer la finance, mais si tu ne manques jamais la présence de Dieu, la présence de Dieu est capable d'attirer la finance vers toi. C'est pourquoi beaucoup de gens qui prient et qui ont l'argent aujourd'hui en train de servir Dieu, ils ont commencé dans la misère, mais ils ont gardé la présence de Dieu. Ils ont gardé l'obéissance à la parole de Dieu. A lot of people today, we can call them pastors, bishops, singers, worshippers. But when they started, they started as little ones. When you look like uh, Mike Kanambai, he was like a little one. You didn't tell who he's going to become. So when he was little, people were going to say, ah, this time he was, he, was, he, he was a real worshipper. He was a real singer. But now he becomes like a star. He has a lot of money. Now he doesn't have God. No, he still has God. Because when he was little, God promised him that I'm going to make you great. Hallelujah. Quand tu es encore petit, tu n'as rien, tu es encore petit. C'est par là que Dieu te donne des promesses que je vais te rendre grand. Je vais te donner la richesse. Je vais te donner ceci. Je vais te donner cela. Mais une fois que la bénédiction de Dieu, la promesse de Dieu commence à se réaliser dans ta vie, les gens commencent à dire que non, toi, quand tu, as, tu avais commencé, tu étais petit, tu n'avais rien, tu craignais Dieu, tu faisais ceci, tu faisais cela, mais maintenant, Dieu t'a béni, tu deviens orgueilleux, tu as abandonné Dieu. Non, c'est la parole de Dieu qui continue à se réaliser. Alors, Deutéronome est en train de nous montrer que si nous voulons être grands, nous voulons être supérieurs, nous devons obéir à la parole de Dieu. Continue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Stop there. The Lord will make you what? And not the tail. That's why you have to repeat that. I am the herd, not the tail. Because I listen to God's word. I should be the herd, not the tail. Continue. Mm -hmm. Stop there. You always be at the top, not at, not at the bottom. I'll be always at the top, not on the bottom. That's why when I repeat you, if I repeat the prayer, I take it from Deuteronomy 28. Keep going. Okay, stop there. Clap for Jesus. So when you say, I am the herd, not the tail, so verify if you are obeying the word of God. Because if you are not obeying, you're going to become a tail. And be, instead of being superior, you become down. Clap for Jesus. And uh, we end uh, here for today. God is good. And all the time, Thank you, Jesus.
Seigneur Jésus-Christ, j'aimerais être la tête, toujours la tête et non la queue. J'aimerais être toujours le premier et non le dernier. J'aimerais toujours être au-dessus et non en dessous. Fais-moi grâce, Seigneur, que les gens de ce monde ne puissent pas piétiner ton église. Que les gens de ce monde ne piétinent pas ton peuple. Laisse que ton peuple devienne la tête et non la queue. Laisse que ton peuple marche avec une tête haute, avec conviction, avec assurance, dans le nom puissant et glorieux de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth, mon Père et mon Roi, mon Père et mon Seigneur. Nous voulons avancer avec toi. Nous voulons persévérer avec toi. Nous voulons patienter avec toi. Nous voulons endurer avec toi. Quels que soient les obstacles, quelles que soient les circonstances, quels que soient les événements, nous voulons au Dieu triompher. La Bible déclare la foi qui triomphe du monde, la victoire qui triomphe du monde, c'est notre foi. Seigneur Jésus, merci. Merci pour toutes les choses. Maintenant, tu vas marcher sur le scorpion, sur la spique, sur les lionceaux avant d'entrer dans 2025. Tu vas marcher sur le scorpion, sur le lionceau, sur toute puissance de l'ennemi Satan, en la puissance de Jésus. Père éternel, je marche sur la piste, je marche sur le scorpion, je marche sur le lion saut, je marche sur le lion, je marche sur toute puissance de l'ennemi Satan, je rentre à l'air les soeurs de l'ennemi Satan, au nom puissant et glorieux de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth, mon Père et mon Roi, mon Père et mon Seigneur, mon Père et mon Rédempteur, mon Père et mon Provenant, mon Père et mon Associé, mon Père et mon Roi, je bénis et glorifie ton Seigneur, sois loué, sois magnifié, sois loué, sois magnifié, Jésus-Christ de Nazareth, Dieu le Dieu dit de toi, Dieu le Dieu dit de magnificence, Papa, je te loue, Papa, je te glorifie, puisque avec toi, nous ferons des exploits, avec toi, toi, nous allons triompher. Avec toi, nous allons marcher sur le scorpion, sur la spique, sur le lionceau, et cela dans le nom puissant et glorieux de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth. Ou qu'on a tchabou chikou boileo, ou qu'on a tchamandoto, ou qu'on a tchabouné à kesho, à ma semaine, nous dimons, qu'il y a d'amour à Yesu, na qu'il y a un gosachi, y'a un tagatifu. You're gonna surrender your night, you're gonna surrender your dreams, and the coming week. Under the power of the Holy Spirit, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and in the in in the cover of the the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name, let us pray. Au nom de Jésus Christ de Nazareth, à mon roi. Au nom de Jésus Christ de Nazareth, à mon Seigneur. Au nom de Jésus Christ de Nazareth, à mon Rédempteur. Je recommande ma nuit. 
dans le sang de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth, mes songes sous la puissance et la direction du Saint-Esprit. Je remets, oh mon papa et mon roi, la semaine qui va commencer sous ta puissance, oh mon Seigneur. Laisse que tu me guides, laisse que tu me dirises, laisse que tu m'orientes, laisse que tu m'accordes, oh Dieu, à bénéficier du miel, du rocher, dans le nom de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth et à bénéficier des, bonnes, des meilleures productions de ce pays, au nom de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth, attire la finance, attire la finance, j'attire la finance, j'attire la finance, que la finance vient vers moi, que la bénédiction vient vers moi, que la supériorité vient vers moi, que le pouvoir d'en haut vient vers moi, au nom de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth, il est écrit, tout don excellent et toute grâce excellente vient d'en haut du Père de Lumière, que la grâce d'en haut me, me localise, que la grâce d'en haut me localise, que le don excellent d'en haut me localise dans le nom puissant et glorieux de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth. Père fait Saint, Père que sage, nous te rendons multiple actions de grâce, Arabie. Merci d'avoir commencé avec nous comme Alpha, de terminer et d'achever avec nous comme Oméga. Tu vas chevaucher avec nous comme Emmanuel, jusque dans nos maisons et dans nos actes activité au oh Dieu quotidien. Il est écrit dans ta parole, donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain quotidien. Seigneur, nous avons besoin de ton pain quotidien, le pain qui nous accorde une bonne santé, le pain qui nous accorde la satisfaction, le pain qui nous accorde la durance et la persévérance, le, le, le pain qui va nous équiper, le pain qui va nous fortifier, le pain qui va nous accorder au oh Dieu à réfléchir comme des enfants de Dieu à réfléchir et à agir comme des enfants de Dieu. Le pain qui va nous pousser à l'action car, oh Dieu, nous avons trouvé grâce au devant de toi comme Noé, nous avons trouvé grâce au devant de toi. Comme Marie, nous avons trouvé grâce au devant de toi. Que le Saint-Esprit nous guide, oh Dieu, que le Saint-Esprit nous oriente dans tout ce que nous aurons à entreprendre avec toi. C'est dans le nom puissant et précieux de Jésus-Christ que nous disons que je I am prosperous. I am prosperous. I am the head, not the tail. Je suis la tête et non la queue. I am the first, not the last. I am healed in the name of Jesus. We pray, Amen. Pray for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we praise you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Hi, how are you? Hi. Wonderful. Come here. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Ah, beautiful. Wonderful. I like that. Okay. I like Dad. I 